Hey guys, Joe from SurviveTheWild.us here. Um, today, I'm just going to take a minute and show you how to use sap as fuel. Um, to use sap as a, as a, a substitute for solid fuel. Um, I cook over the fire, um, but a lot of people, one of the first things it's hard for them to give up is like, uh, like MSR stoves, you know, fuel canisters, um, using esbit, trioxane, things like that. So today I'm going to show you how to use sap as a solid fuel source. A lot of people don't know that it is. It's readily available anywhere in the woods. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay. This is a tree here. And I'm trying to get a close-up of this uh, sap glob here. See that? That's what you're looking for. This is really good sap. It's still almost wet but you want the amber looking stuff. Um, all this stuff is really good sap. You can probably see that one pretty good. Um, it's not dried out. Some sap's old and dried out. It'll still work, but it won't really liquefy and, 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 and burn like a wax, but this stuff is great. So I got this, my Heineken can on a twig in the ground. Um, a little rock with a little bit of a divot in it, but I don't think it'll hold it the sap great once it starts liquefying um, So I put a little stick here and a couple of rocks to try to keep the sap um, So I'm just gonna put it here I'm just gonna start with one piece and get it lit and then and then add pieces to it um, Oh, let me put the camera down so I can light it. Hold on So that's it burning it took me a little bit to get it lit. I had to add more in there. But you can see that. It's kind of not over. Oh, my cup is not in it. But you can see it. It does burn. It's sooty. It ain't perfect. But, and it's, it's not great in the wind either. Um, you know. I'm not gonna lie, but that's nature's solid fuel right there. You can grab some on the trail as you're going, put it in a little baggie. If you find good sap on the trail, grab it while you can. Because it's believe it or not, even though there's trees everywhere, it's it's not always um, that easy to find. I'm having to hold my stick down. I'm trying to make some coffee. It's getting dark too. I think there's some rain coming in. I got smart. I put a log to hold my stick. The sap's cranking away. I'm gonna have some coffee out of that. Now see, you can see this is my pile. It looks kind of like stones because it's been in a bag so it got its own powder on it. But you can just throw them in there and it liquefies. Now that liquid, that liquid can be used for all kinds of things. Um, Indians used it for glue and stuff like that. Um, you take that liquid and you mix it with, uh, I guess, different amounts of ash, you know, fire ash. And uh, it'll make different consistencies of glue. Some brittle, some more bendable, you know, for clothing and things like that. But um, I haven't learned too much about that, but I plan to when I do. Oh, pass on what I learn to you guys. Am I getting any bubbles yet? There are no bubbles yet. I'll let that cook for a few. Still burning. Hasn't boiled yet. I got one heck of a mess on there now. I've just been adding tons of glob, you know, globs on it. I got the Heineken can practically sitting on it. Right on the fire. Luckily the wind's not blowing. Make sure you got a good source of it before you try this. And a, and a, <laughs> and a lighter or a bunch of matches. Oh. See my lighter? I wrap electrical tape around, around it. I slide a, a needle, sewing needle, underneath the electrical tape. See it sticking out right there? And I wrap floss around it. That way if I have a lighter, I also have needle and thread 
and a little bit of tape just something to do but at least I got a little bit more than just a lighter and it doesn't take up any more space and a little weight let's check if it's boiling oh I put this little uh, foil top on it that I keep cookie sheet uh, it ain't boiling but it's it's bubbling I mean, it's got little bubbles in there. It's probably probably hot enough for coffee, but I'll let it go for a minute longer. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna stop it there. It's not boiling yet. And since I grabbed this river water, I put a couple. I put two drops of uh, iodine in there since it's not coming to a full boil, and I don't want to wait because it's getting dark. I need to get out of here, and uh, it seems like it's gonna rain too. So anyways, a couple drops of iodine just to be, you know, just to be safe because I just brought it out of the river. So I uh, put a rock behind it too to block the wind a little bit. So let me show you what I got here. Sap on a rock. Nature's solid fuel. coffee. Good thing. Mm, can't beat it.